Hey, I just did Gripe Hour episode one. This is episode two, and you know why? KMFDM fucking sucks. They sent me this box, right? I got all these shirts in there. They're giving me a poster. They, they give, you know, look, here's a poster. The Symbols album. All right, I'm going to hang that on my wall. Oh, sorry, it's sideways. There we go. Uh, look, I got this little guy here. I'm going to hang that somewhere. I, I can't believe him. I can't believe them. They, I got, I got. Now I got these shirts. I gotta wear these. It, what the fuck? What do you want me to do? You want me to listen to your music? What the fuck? Got this bad boy. There we go. I mean, unbelievable. Uh, you, 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 you dump all this shit on me. And I, now I get shit to worry about. Come on, man. That's not fair. That's not a nice thing to do. Look at this. Adios. Oh, boy. I'm going to have fun with these. I might even make a pillowcase out of one. Yeah, I'm, I am overjoyed right now. I can't, like... I know I spent a lot of money on this shit, but... This is just, un this is like a KMFDM haul. Like, this, this is just unbelievable. I, I, I got this tiny little box, and I was like, oh, what are they going to send, like, one shirt at a time? And no, they, everything was in there. They they always give you all this cool shit. They give, they give you, like, extra posters, stickers, and shit. It's fucking awesome. All right. Obviously, if you don't listen to KMFDM, you don't understand why I'm complaining about them. Uh, it, it's not, it's a joke. Um, I love them. I, this is just the most amazing thing, I, and as far as I know, I'm probably going to get fired tonight. It's a, a job is a job. You can get another job. Uh, all I'm worried about now is just saving some money. But look, I open the box like a pizza box. I open the box and it just says, it just says smoke. <laughs> Like, that's the fucking greatest thing in the world. Oh, I just can't. I Now I have, like, eight KMFDM shirts. Yo, I'm really cool. I'm into a band. Uh, I really like this band, so I got a bunch of shirts. And it's like, I don't know. It, this is a band that isn't um, particularly popular. I, Popular in like the industrial scene, but they're not really. Uh, you don't hear them on the radio. Let's put it that way. Uh, so you're kind of, you know, you you're getting stuff that you like, but you're also supporting the band. Um, you're doing them a favor because um, a lot of these guys, and I don't, I don't know the who specifically, but at least you know, in like ministry's case. The whole time they've been around, they've been working real jobs, too. Like, it, it's not like they can just, you know, make billions off of their music. Because they don't get the exposure they need. Um, and KMFDM has, has done, like, a... They've done a good job of saying, like, fuck you to <laughs> just about everybody. And they still have, like, this, this empire um, that they built in... Uh, it's it, it's a weird story to me. I don't, it's it's amazing though. Um, you know, this isn't this isn't Elton John. This isn't Bruce Springsteen. This isn't David Bowie. It, this is all right. This is like an underground band, and they make a lot of great music. They make a lot of cheesy music too, on purpose. Um, but th that's my estimation anyway. I'm, just, I'm not trying to insult them, but. Um, they, they have humility. They make fun of themselves and they make fun of the music industry and by like constantly, constantly like making jokes about selling out or like, you know, just kind of having that kind of humor involved in some of their music. And, um, I don't know, uh, something just clicks with me. I, it's just. They work for me, you know. 
They're the band. Them and uh, Frontline Assembly. But, but I don't think Bill Lieb gives too much of a shit about anything really. <laughs> it's, uh, but man, this is so fucking awesome. I, I've always been a fan of like having band t-shirts. Like, yeah, I listen to this band. Look at me. No, but it's nice. It's it's comforting, you know. It's like if you if you live in a cabin in the woods, it's like having a wool sweater, you know. It's nice. It's, a, it's nice, comfortable. You know? it's, and these, I love these guys. They, but no matter no matter who's in the band at what time, no matter what lineup changes they've had, no, they always they always come up with something new. Sometimes they go back to a, a little bit of the the not the same material, but, you know, they'll use riffs or something that's, you've heard before, but they make a new song out of it, and it, it's, and the amount of material they have is just fucking ridiculous at this point. 35 years? Nah, anyway, I, I just, I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited about all this shit. Look at that, symbols right there. There it is, folks. You you saw it. You witnessed it. Uh, so I'm gonna wear the hell out of these until they get fucking holes in them. Along with my other like five or six other shirts. Uh, and uh, yeah. Anyway, lastly, uh, if your neck is hurting you, or your back is hurting you, or anything, any part of your body is hurting you, please invest in CBD cream. I'm I'm going to keep plugging this in every single video that I make from now on. Um, this is a miracle. Somebody told me if I I work with an MMA fighter, it's crazy Bulgarian. I think I mentioned that in the last video or something. He he uh, he told me about this. He's like, oh oh Johnny, you'll have to get the CBD cream. And I go, oh okay. So I looked it up. This was like thirty bucks. It's like four ounces. Um, but I mean, you only need to apply a little bit, so it's pretty good. Um, yeah, you never like to worry too much. You're like, oh, I gotta spend 30 bucks. 30 bucks. No, this whole came at the end box was about 150 bucks. We spend our money where we want to. Uh, yeah, check out CBD cream. It's pretty good. It, it actually works. I can, I can testify that it works. Uh, see you guys next time.